today we got yet another day of rain this month. It's been quite the rainy start to the month of April. We got just under a quarter of an inch of rain today recorded at the Rockford Airport and that puts us just over the three inch mark so far this month. Now we're almost an inch ahead of pace for the monthly average. Now that sits just under four inches so now we are closing in on that mark just 18 days into the month of April. So quite the soggy start and also the soggy start to spring too. Since March 1st, we've gotten just over seven and a half inches, which is about three inches ahead of pace. So a very soggy start to spring. And I'm sure, you know, can remember from last year when we had that drought starting this time of year. So thankfully not looking at anything like that this time of year. We are drying out though, heading into tonight though. We could use a little bit of that too with clouds clearing out and it's also going to get pretty breezy too. A cold front has come through, sending our temperatures down into the 30s tonight. And also, you're going to notice that breeze too, especially as we head later on in the day. As we look on future track, gusts up to 20 miles per hour as we head out the door in the morning. So, not quite as breezy as it will be, especially as we head towards the end of the morning towards lunchtime. That's when we're looking at gusts up to 30 miles per hour potentially at times. So, going to be a pretty gusty afternoon, even getting up to around 35 mile per hour wind gusts at times as you're heading on home from work and school. So remember two hands on the wheel as we have these gusty winds rolling through. They will calm down though as we head into tomorrow evening. Otherwise going to be a very enjoyable day. We'll have plenty of sunshine and notice how temperatures quickly warm up from the 30s as we wake up getting into the 50s as we head towards the afternoon middle to upper 50s I think for highs later on for tomorrow afternoon. So another spring like day just slightly cooler than average which is going to be the theme for the next few days. In fact, over the next few days, we could get so chilly. We're talking about potential frost to our north and east, though there are already frost advisories and even freeze warnings across the state of Iowa. While we're not getting into that territory yet, we likely will be over the next few days as we have some chilly nights up ahead, middle 30s tonight and then Friday night and Saturday night. We're looking at low 30s, potentially near freezing. We could have some frost on Saturday morning, though I think the winds will still be a little too active. I think Bross is more likely heading into Sunday morning though. So as you plan out your weekend, plan on pretty chilly night Saturday night. A cooler day on Saturday, 52 for a high, but we start warming back up into the upper 50s by Sunday. And then heading into next week with continued sunshine, we get back into the 60s until rain returns Monday night into Tuesday. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we continue to see temperatures near average, getting back above average as we may have an unsettled end to next week, but we'll enjoy the dry time while we have it. We'll also enjoy the warmer weather today just off of the bullseye today, but that doubles our cash total up to 26.